TDR Network presents Inspired 2015. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ نُزُلًا مِّنْ غَفُورٍ رَحِيمٍ Allahu Akbar As of those who said our Lord is Allah How many of us here say our Lord is Allah? Raise up your hand If I see someone's hand down that means we are in trouble Okay, all of us are believers, alhamdulillah. But that is not enough, my brothers and sisters. To believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's it, it's not enough. What is more important is to remain upon that belief until the last day. Until you breathe your last. Istiqama. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is motivating us in this ayah by telling us those who believe, those who say our Lord is Allah, then remain steadfast. What will happen to them, my brothers and sisters? At the most critical moment of their life, at the moment of death, the scariest moment of anyone's life is death, my brothers and sisters. Even the Prophet ﷺ described, he said, Indeed, death has got some agony. It's not easy. It's musibah, a trial. At this very critical moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send his angels upon you, telling you what? You're scared of death? The angel will tell you, don't be scared. Allahu Akbar. And don't be sad. You are going to meet Allah. How could you be sad? Isn't this what you want to be in Jannah? Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you, don't be scared. And don't be sad. Receive the good news of Jannah, which you were promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya. How many pages have we read in the Quran describing Jannah for those who are muttaqeen, for those who are righteous, for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for those who know, who are aware that Allah is over watching us, who knows whether we are in public or in secret, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there watching us and giving a command to the angels to write down every single thing that we do. How could you sin? How could you do something haram when you know that Allah and his angels are watching you. So these are the criteria. Belief and istiqama. The angels will comfort you at the moment of death. Don't be scared. Don't be sad. And receive the good news of Jannah, which you promised. Not only that. نَحْنُ أَوْلِيَاءُكُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ These angels will tell you, we are your supporters in this world and in the next. And when you get to Jannah, when you get to Jannah, inshallah, you will have whatever you wish for and whatever you ask for. Allahu Akbar. Istiqama is what we need. I believe that there will be no revival for this ummah without the manner of istiqama. That's why every, every raka, when we read Al-Fatiha, we say what? Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Guide us, show us, take us to the straight path. Keep us upon the straight path. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Donate now, thedailyreminder.org slash donate.